Hello and welcome to Bukit Paus GED Express Screencast with me, Teacher Marky. Today's lesson focuses on the different revision tips to ace IGCSE Triple or Coordinated Science. Now we will start first with our revision tips. We've compiled actually a list of best science revision tips to help you achieve explosive success in your upcoming exam. To effectively revise for your science exam, you should split up each subject, such as biology, chemistry, and physics, especially for those who are going to take ex extended or core under triple science into different topics, which will be tested you on and tackle each one separately by learning the syllabus provided by Cambridge and then practicing past paper questions so that you'll get used to it. We can start first with the first tip or technique. So first, you need to look through the science syllabus and organize your revision schedule. Before you start revising, it is a good idea to print off the exam board syllabus for physics, biology, and chemistry, and also to look through the syllabus for each subject to make sure you know what will be included and expected on your upcoming exam. And then you should then highlight the mark scheme depending on how well you know it. For example, in Cambridge Triple Science for Physics, Biology, and Chemistry, we have both core and extended, and there is a different papers that needs to be answered by student, depending on what will they take, if it's extended or core. Because normally, extended people are taking the even numbers, and then core people are taking the odd numbers. Now, the next tip would be to work through the syllabus for your physics, chemistry, or biology exam. This works well also for those who, go who is going to take coordinated science. Once you have organized your checklist or timetable, you should work through each topic with help from textbooks or class notes and online resources. Working through the topic one at a time with a mixture of learning, the information, and testing yourself can be an effective way to revise. And also, you need to focus on one topic at a time from your highlighted checklist until you understand it. And if ever you are stuck and you find a topic vague and hard to understand, then you can just use any other online platform such as YouTube or other websites, which can help you on your science revision. For this note, I advise you to go with PMT tutor or can be saved my exam. Even the website of Cambridge provides past paper past papers for you to like scan or review. But if you're struggling with any topics, see what other resources are available. This can include searching the internet or asking your teacher whether your school is subscribed to any useful website or guides. I can also advise you to visit BBC Bite Size because basically they have a nice set of information for IDCSE, especially in science. Next tip would be to test yourself to be at your best in terms of like revising. Testing yourself is the best form of revision. You can test the knowledge you have learned and how to manage your time in the exam by marking your test papers and you can see what areas you are doing well in and those that you may need to focus on. This can also be done by answering past paper questions and then trying to mark each papers depending on what you're gonna take. Also, with regards to that, using the marking scheme also shows you the exact wording you may need to get the mark. And also, science exams require you to show detailed knowledge of the subject, which includes the specific names of features you are studying, such as neutrons and electrons, for instance. Next tip, which will be the last for these revision tips, would be to remember, to remember the things that you have revised. Under here, we have compiled eight tips to get, to get motivated and find enthusiasm-ness among students who are revising. 
they will help i mean this may help you to focus and create order in terms of your way of revising your notes in science first would be this one give yourself a rev revision pep talk now some of you might find it common like a pep talk is quite normal though so during this time if you're not feeling confident about exams then it follows that you won't want to work hard you might be tempted to stay in bed and stay up late and then don't be discouraged by a poor performance in max give yourself a pep talk so that you can manufacture the confidence you need you can look at essays where you have done well or reread motivating comments from teachers and you can also concentrate on positive aspects and you'll start to realize your capabilities and always remember that hard work pays off next if I mean, next tip to motivate you is to start your revision with something fun. If you kick off with something interesting, this will help you gather some momentum. Just get stuck in. Perhaps you've read an article or seen a documentary that has reminded you of a topic you find interesting, especially in biology, because there are like a lot of facts in it that will be hard for you to understand. So it's better to like watch a documentary film or a or a movie itself so that you can further understand it next motivational tip is to go cold turkey on the gadgets and social media social media is highly addictive and you can spend a lot of the day aimlessly browsing it you shouldn't spend lots of valuable time religiously refreshing Facebook Instagram snapchat and all those applications and you could temporarily disable your social media accounts and applications. Like you can just let someone disable it for you or you can do it on your own. You can also put your phone on airplane mode to help, res to help resist the temptation. And try swapping your phone with your friends or family while you revise so that you can go into it while you take a break. I think that will work. And then fourth one, which can motivate you to remember everything from your revision, is to monitor what you eat to give you energy and focus. Yeah, this one is quite helpful because you should be careful about your eating habits. Be wary about stimulants such as caffeine and sugars, which might give you a short-term boost, especially in terms of memory. But you'll end up feeling depleted if you overindulge with this kind of things. But this one can help. You can replace sugary snacks with healthier alternatives like pita with dips, antipasti, and salad. Which is a bit fancy, but I think it will work. Fifth one. Make your pile of revision notes more inviting. This is true for those who are totally into notes taking. I mean, I'm not just referring to them, but this is helpful for everyone because if your notes are attractive and organized, then you'll be more motivated to learn. Notes showed haphazardly into a decaying graffiti-covered ring binder will not inspire you to start revision. To ease yourself in, you can gather all your papers and divide them into groups. Like, for example, take a look at every page and sort them into topic paths. Like, like that kind of thing. Also, having your notes organized, divided into files will save you time in the future because you can quickly sort through them to take out exactly what you need. That's why it's very important. Sixth motivational tip to ace good scores for IGCSE is to tidy your room so you can actually work well. If you're trying to declutter your mind by using plans and notes, then applying the same policy to your room is sensible. Having a tidy space means less distraction and more work. That means you won't be tempted to fiddle with trinkets and electronic gadgets you've left on your desk. So that will be pretty effective for you while you were reviewing. And since the atmosphere is so clear, that means the flow of information from what you are reviewing for your brain will be perfectly spontaneous. That means you can easily work well for your exam. Seventh tip would be plan rewards after revision. 
This is common among teenagers, specifically for those who are taking exams, like pamper themselves after a long day of reviewing or after several days of continuously reviewing. And it's good to have something at the week weekend to focus on. You can get cinema tickets, book a table at the restaurant, or go bowling if you want. Those are just some for wide results though. But that will always depend on you. Eight would be get up and about. Start the day by going for a walk. If you are doing a mammoth task on a computer, take at least 15 minutes breaks to avoid eye strain. And then you can grab a cup of tea to recharge. That is something that needs to be considered for after a long day of reviewing. Also, you'll find changes throughout the day which will provide you with stamina to keep working. Otherwise, you'll end up falling asleep at your desk. Yeah. Now let's move on to this thing, which is also needed by students right now so that you will remember everything that you have revised. Because normally, if you keep on like revising day by day, and then at a specific period of time, you forget everything that you have reviewed, then it will not make sense at all. So these seven things for how to remember revision will make revising more fun and help material stand out in your mind so that you will remember it while you were answering the actual examination. We go with number one. Number one would be go post it, note manic. Having a colored post-it notes everywhere, everywhere helps you immerse yourself in revision. Also, you firstly write down some information and notes such as physics equation or a history fact, or it could be biological facts that you need for the exam. Ideally, this should be something that can fit in a small space and you can stick it anywhere in your room. Next would be study with aromas. Uh, according to a stimula I mean according to our research, stimulating your sense of smell is supposed to improve your memory. A research by Northumbria University found that scent of rosemary contributed to five to seven percent boost in memory capability. The effect of inhalation is an increase of electrical activity in the brain. So that is actually a weird tip for you to remember everything, but you can try that because you will not lose anything. We go with the third one, act topics out. When you act topic out, that means this tip is about kinesthetic learning, which is for people who prefer to engage both their body and mind when studying. For example, a kinesthetic learner might pace around the room while they read or go for a wander to get those creative juices flowing. Like for example, for those who remember things instantly and longer if they are moving or doing something where the muscles are involved. Let's go with the fourth one. Revise with silly metaphors. Facts tend to stick out in your mind if you make them silly. One way of doing this is by using mnemonics, which is very helpful. This is, for instance, the example of Richard of York gave battle in vain to remember the sequence of colors in the rainbow like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, or you can just say Roy J. Biv. If you need to recall the date of the Spanish Armada, for example, you can just draw out 1588 as 15 with two H-shaped sailboats. So that is a form of remembering things longer. It's either you make use of your own mnemonics or you adapt the mnemonics of others. Or it could be the other way around, like you form associations so that you can easily figure it out, especially concepts and processes. Fifth would be this one, to record your voice. Listening to a recording of your notes or an essay can aid memory. There are portable digital recorders available that can be plugged into a computer. And it can also work the other way. Like, for example, if you need to alleviate writer's block while writing essay plans, then dictating and then transcribing is a viable option that actually works. And you can make facts stand out by adding an accent to them or transforming them into a poem. 
This will make your notes much more vibrant and engaging. Let's go with the sixth one. Try ditching. Explaining concepts to another person is a way to ensure you understand them yourselves. So if you have a peer who's having a hard time understanding a concept specifically in science, either biology, chemistry, or physics, then you can just explain it to them. That's the best way of letting them know that you have a wide understanding about the concept and also that will help you out to remember things that you have reviewed. Last would be experiment with visual revision techniques. Under this, to introduce some variety, why not try using mind maps? You can make a mind map which is also known as spider diagram with a black piece of A4 or start by writing your topic title in the center and then draw lines outward going into subtopics. Another option to explore using colored overlays, which are thin pieces of acetate that you can place over text, which will help you understand synchronization or chronicity of ideas, especially when you are dealing with mathematical equation in physics, like the step-by-step -step process. Or can be a process in biology, such as mitosis or meiosis. Cool. Now, if you find this video helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. I hope you have fun revising. Since you are here already, you might as well share this video to your other friends and other pals so that they can be motivated to revise lessons for IDCSE science. By the way, if you want to know more about our organization, you can visit us at www.bookatpulse.org or you can connect with us at Facebook through facebook.com slash bookatpulse. Our YouTube is in there down below, that's bookatpulse. Or if you want to have a direct communication with our staff members, then you can call our number at 0814170978. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!